Hello everyone, this is Gruesome Herzog. The review today is an unbelievable film that puts a new spin on religion. Abram's Hand in 2011. Here's the storyline. Seven friends fight to escape a violent death and struggle with the knowledge that their deaths might be punishment from the hands of God. Directed by James Christopher. Written by James Christopher. This is a crime horror thriller I call it a religious slasher. Here's the cast. Mark McCarver as Zack. Ashley Sierro as Miriam. Stephanie Dunbar as Mary. Colby Wallingsford as Jesse. Natalie Wellman as Lily. Benjamin Jabe as Zeke. Teresa Kelton as Leah. Conrad Gonzalez as Stan. Billy Cringe as Reverend Delphus. Elizabeth cringe as Betty. First and foremost, I'm going to give special thanks to James Christopher for sending me a link to review for my podcast. This film here is about seven kids, per se. And their reverend, who is a... Oh, boy. He's not your everyday reverend. He has his beliefs. Um, it's not your typical religion. Now, when I say that, I should say he's probably more open Basically what I'm saying is what he said out loud is what a lot of preachers say on the inside. And that lead, you know, we're talking about, um, well, I won't say. I want you to watch it. But he sends these seven students slash youths up to the mountains to see if they can touch God. If they can hear God. Well, as you know, one of them Zach, he's more religious than the rest. And the other ones, well, they are fly-by-night Christians. What I mean is they drink and pot and and have a normal life. Now, I'm not saying being religious and not doing these things doesn't mean your life is not normal. But you get my point. Typical young teens, early 20s, that age group. And, well, they go up the mountains and... um, Mr. Religious, he decides to uh, drink, smoke pot, and then there's deaths. One by one start appearing. That's what I say, this is a new horror film. A religious slasher. No joke intended. Basically what it is, you have some dude in the woods that's killing these borderline Christians. I'll tell you what, this is probably one of the most different films that I've seen when it comes to a slasher film, you know, besides another semi-religious horror film called Bloody Bloody Bible Camp, but that's a different story all by itself. So James Christopher has brought us something that's very different. Strange. Interesting. The end of the film, when you find out who the killer is and his performance, it's amazing. Well acted, well shot, well written. I mean, who ever would have thought of someone writing this storyline and make it into a film? I'm pretty sure that if some of these um, Bible pushers and Bible thumpers and uh, religious people would probably have a a heyday uh, fit, um, they'd probably be going nuts over this film. And that's what makes this film stand by itself. I really enjoyed this film. Abram's Hand in 2011. It puts the religion into slashers. Well-made film. Again, special thanks to James Christopher for sending me a link to review for my podcast. So for all your viewers out there that has not seen this film, and if you can handle religion, and you can handle a slasher, this film is definitely for you. It's quite different. Bravo to James Christopher. You say about being different, this is definitely different. I quite enjoyed it. Damn good film. This is Gruesome Herzog's Harmony Review. I give his film a 7.5 out of 10. It's an amazing film. Think about it. Religious slasher. <laughs> Enough said. This is Gruesome Herzog's Harmony Review. And I'm out of here.